Hey, y'all, it is Sana Marie with the Evolve Talk Show. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. right here on Dominion TV. And stay tuned. We have an awesome show for you tonight. just told my awesome amazing beautiful guest I said I feel that in my spirit like it's gonna be a month of miracles May is a month of miracles so y'all better get ready get ready get ready let me first give my Shauna shout out to our amazing Evolve sponsor Miss Linda Burgess of Lincoln Heritage thank you so much so y'all listen we're gonna jump right into it because listen May is mental health awareness month and I have an amazing guest with me. Listen, Dr. Erica Savage, she the MD. <laughs> I, I just wanted to, I was like, let, let me say, just let me say, I was pumped up already. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing excellent, Shauna. Yes. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. You just tell I'm excited. Oh, oh yeah. I can feel Always. it. I can feel, can can feel it. Feel it? Can, can you feel, feel the it? energy? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Listen, I, I'm excited because we get a chance to empower people yes to impact people yes um you know to to encourage them mm -hmm. to take great health and great care of their mental health absolutely of their physical health and i i, I know we, we do it we do it both in different ways we get crunk together <laughs> <laughs> yeah we do it a little differently we, we do it a little differently yeah. but we both truly believe in um the maintenance right, right. and 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 the taking care of the temple that God gave you. Absolutely. Like I can't switch with you. You can't switch with me. Right. And oftentimes we neglect this temple. Exactly. In so many different so ways. So many ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been working in the realm of primary care for wow. 11 years now. Mm. And I know I don't look that old to be doing no, something for over no, a decade. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I have been, <laughs> been doing primary care for over 11 years. I've taken wow. care of from infants to seniors wow. and no matter what mm. age group I take care of, the main message for me to them is wellness. It's taking yes. care of yourself. It's, it's prevention. Good. It's not yes. about necessarily treatment. It's about how do we yeah. prevent these things from happening in the first place. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So wh <clears throat> what are some of the, the things that you see the most, especially in the minority in the, in the African-American community? What, Absolutely. Wh what do you see predominantly? So the Probably globally what I see is what I would call a lot of health disparities, right? Mm. So when you look at African Americans and the rate of chronic diseases like yeah. diabetes, high blood yeah. pressure, yeah, 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 heart yeah. disease, uh, African Americans tend to have more of these right, type of illnesses. Right, right, right. And even most recently, when we look at this global pandemic that we're still in. We're still in it. When we look at people who have negative outcomes from having COVID-19, right. They were minorities. They were our African Americans. So, right. you know, I see a, a huge separation between the number of people who have conditions in yeah. terms of African Americans versus non African Americans, those that get sick from those conditions, mm. those that die from those conditions. Yes. And yes. so, yes. you know, it's my hope that in sessions like this and yes. everywhere that I can go, everywhere that I have a platform, yes. to say to people that look like me, let's take our health seriously and let's try to prevent these yeah. conditions from even yeah, yeah. even entering into our bodies. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Mm -hmm. What what are some different ways? Um, because I I love this. Cause I'm all about preventing. Uh -huh. And and I and I feel like because in, you know Third John one and two says, beloved above all things, I wish that you would prosper mm -hmm. and be in good health, mm -hmm. even as your soul prospers. Mm -hmm. So that right there tells us that. God wants us Absolutely. to be healthy. He Absolutely. wants us to have a healthy life and live a healthy life. He said what? The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but I come that, that you may, may have, have life and what? More, have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. Right. He so he wants us to have an abundant yes. life. So I'm, I'm big about that too. So how do we 
walk into a place where we can get to a, a space of preventive, preventative. Sure. So, you know, I think one of the biggest things is realizing that what we put into our bodies is very important. And so, That's it. you know, food can either be, oh my, oh my, oh my. Uh, it can be medicine or yeah. it can be poison. That's good. And it's all about what we what we put into our bodies. Yes. And I always tell people, I, you know, I'm very simple in my instructions to patients. Yes. And they say, well, Dr. Jeter, what should I eat? And I say, we should eat the foods that God gave us the way God gave them to us oh, because good. he said everything he made was good, that's good. right? Yeah, so we good. should eat it the way good, he gave it to <laughs> us. And so we mess things up by, you know, over-processing things mm, and adding stuff to it, good. adding fat, and all these that's things good. to it. Um, but if we really think about eating the way things were given mm. to us, I think that's yeah. a huge, that's a big um, that's major. Huge rule of thumb. Absolutely. But wellness Physical, mental health, mm. all are together. You know, we must pay attention to what we put into our bodies. We must yes. pay attention to how we use our bodies, yes. right? Yes. So our bodies weren't designed for us to be, you know, like couch potatoes, right? Come on. We yeah. were, uh, at, <laughs> at one point, humans were hunters and gatherers, right? So right. we work. We don't do that anymore. Right. <laughs> so we need to, you know, emulate that some kind yeah. of way. We yeah, need to yeah, do yeah. some type of oh, physical that. activity yes. so that we are using our muscles. Our heart is a muscle. It needs to be yes. worked so that it can stay into shape. Yes. And then, you know, emotional health is so important. Um, you know, yeah. all the decisions that you make really lie within how you're feeling about yourself and about That's your good. situation. So you must take, you know, a very active, yeah. vested interest in how you're feeling, process yes. how you're feeling. Come on. And then, you know, yeah. make decisions that are beneficial to your That's health. Good. So, you know, wellness is, it's, and not, one thing about wellness, people think that it's a state. You know, mm. I am well today. But Come wellness on. is a process. Come on. Because life is a process. It's a journey. It's a journey. Oh, that's right? good. So, you know, that's so good. So every day we have to make decisions yeah. every, it, oh, that's about good. how do we get to that wellness. I love that you said um, it's a journey. It's a journey. Because oftentimes we're looking for um, a quick fix. I found that when we're doing cry, like people are like, okay, I can lose weight. And I said, no, it's going to be however God wants it to be. Let, let's not try to find um, a trend, a fad, a, a quick fix, an instant, because your health and wellness isn't instant grits. That's right. And I love what you said, because you are what you eat, and, and your body's going to give you what you put into it. I mean, like, literally, it's, yeah. it's going to give it to you. It's a cliche, but it really is a lifestyle. It really, it really is. is a lifestyle. Isn't it? And I, I counsel, counsel a lot of people around weight loss management. Yes. And, you know, there are studies, people have done sophisticated studies to look at, you know, how people are successful with losing weight. Yes. And, and there are a lot of different diets, fasting that you right, suggest right, that right. help people lose weight. But when they look at how people maintain weight loss, the journey, right? It's the how journey. do we get there? It's right. a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of eating yeah. well. It's yes. a lifestyle of physical activity. And yes. so we have to think about it as a lifestyle. These yes. are the decisions that I'm going to make every day. Every day. To make, to ensure that mm. I have wellness. And there are going to be things that we have told, we have no control over right. that right. will come, uh, you know, upon us or around right. us. But that's okay. All we right. can do is be good stewards come on. of our bodies and the health that we were given. I love that. That's all we can do. Be good, be stewards, good stewards. That's right. Over the temple that we were that's given. Right. That's all you can that's do. All you can I, do. Oh, oh my goodness. I love that because oftentimes we're mismanaging being a good steward mm. over our temple. That's right. And that's, I think that's how the enemy gets an open door to our health. Mm -hmm. When we don't take care of it, when we don't consider what we're putting into our bodies. Now, this is, of course, mental, a mental health awareness month. That's right, it is. And I really want to, I know, one, let me say this. Let me say thank you for your service. Okay. Thank you for your sacrifice mm -hmm. because I cannot imagine having to go through the pandemic, we were already terrified, yes. and and try, and really, you. I mean, we were trying our best to pray fear. Like we have my spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. But we were, y'all, we, we we were afraid. We were. We were fearful, mm -hmm. and I think it put a spirit of fear in us. Mm -hmm. Um, but thank you, thank you for your sacrifice and being on the front line every single day. Thank you to all of our healthcare yes, workers. Absolutely. Okay, let's let's just say yeah. that. To 
to all all of our frontline workers that that put their lives on the line every mm-hmm. single day to make sure that we were taken care of. Yeah. You know, I we were just talking about this before the show started about how people are still in such a state of despair, mm-hmm. such a state of discouragement, sorrow, grief. There are still people dying. Oh yes. You know how how you know I think about how we're persevering in this pandemic. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the biggest key that caused so much fear and angst around COVID and the pandemic weren't necessarily the virus itself, somewhat, but not just the, I mean, we're talking about, you know, millions of people infected, you know, so that in itself is fearful, but it was the social isolation, right? We were created to be relational Mm -hmm. and to be around people. So when you're isolated Come on. from yeah. people and you and you don't get to oh engage goodness. and interact with people yeah. then you that's when things really start to creep into your mind right. and the things like right. you described like fear yes. so i think it's it's twofold it's the virus itself it's the fear of getting right. something that could potentially be lethal to you yes. but then also early on how when we were just by ourselves by ourselves and and mm. and that played heavily on yeah. people's minds and yes. and so now we're seeing where that you know we we, ha- we see what's going on around us people have covid fatigue i, I really think that's a real yes. syndrome where yes. people are tired of being by themselves yep. they're tired yeah. of being isolated yeah. I am too. <laughs> I'm tired of being isolated. Too. Right. So, so I mean, I think that's Me where, we, where we are. Um, but we still have to be smart, right? Yes. We still have to do the things right, that protect right, us. Right, right, right. You know, so I'm a big uh, proponent of vaccinations, boosters, yes. you know, I can get on that soapbox today if you yes. want me to, but if you've not been yes. vaccinated, where's the camera? Yes. You've not been vaccinated, you need to get vaccinated. Yes, come on, you're talking to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but in, in addition to that, you know, if you have risk factors, you need to right. assess, you know, what is my risk of right. becoming um, ill with COVID and then making modifications yeah. for yourself. Yeah, yeah. But the world is in a state of fatigue. You know, we yeah. were ready to get back to normal. Yes. And we do have some sense of normalcy. Right. But the virus is still present. And, but so but present. will it really ever be normal? Because the ev- everything has shifted. It has. E- everything has changed. I literally. think I think what we will experience and, um, you know, I think COVID-19 will become like most respiratory viruses. Yeah. I mean, the flu, influenza killed people. Right. right? So, right. And so that's why we're, you know, when the flu season comes... As a healthcare yes. provider, I'm saying, hey, if you have risk factors, if you're a senior, yes. if you have chronic disease, yes. you need to get a flu, get a flu vaccine. Shot. Yeah. Right. So I think that's where we'll go eventually with right. COVID, where those that, you know, who have risk factors and could potentially be harmed by the virus yes. will, will be, yes. you know, in, with them saying right. you need to make yeah. sure you get yeah, vaccinated yeah, yeah, yeah. and boosted as time goes on. So I think that's where we'll eventually, yeah. I hope, I pray that's where we'll eventually yes. land yes. as it relates to COVID-19. I love it. I, 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 love, I love the insight. Listen, are you picking up what she's putting down? <laughs> you are so passionate about medicine about people about health and wellness Mm -hmm. what made you decide to get into medicine like what what was that deciding factor yeah so (laughs) i I, it was a while before i knew i wasn't one of these kids that like in fifth grade said i want to be a doctor yeah as a matter of fact when i was in elementary school i said i want to be a teacher because that's what girls that's what you if you're a girl you said you want to be a teacher yeah yeah so i um when i was in high school my biology teacher, her daughter had a, a very rare genetic disorder. Wow. And so I became fascinated with genetics, DNA. At that point, there weren't a lot of genetic right. conditions. Right. So there wasn't a whole lot known about DNA and everything. So I said, I'm going to bra- I'm gonna crack the <laughs> human genome code. So I'm, I'm going to go You're and become a, yeah, I'm a crack the code. So I'm going to be a microbiologist and I'm going to do this. And so I went to Wofford College in Spartanburg. That's where I went yes. undergrad. And... Uh, I found out that people don't like to talk in the lab, right? They like to do the lab work. Yes. And, and I said, well, I don't like, I don't I know. Like I'm to a, talk. Yeah, I like to talk. <laughs> I like to interact, engage with people. Yes. So um, junior year, I did an externship with a surgeon from Union, my from my yeah. hometown. And I showed up late. He was already in surgery, so <laughs> I got changed into scrubs. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, I'm going to get in trouble because I'm late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I walked in, and there was this woman who was um, – no, he was involved in her surgery at that point. Yeah. She was sedated and everything. Right. And um, she was having a female surgery, and it wasn't going as planned. 
She oh. had all kind of complications. A surgery that was supposed to last like 45 minutes and an hour, three hours later, we were still in the operating room. Oh, my goodness. And I just remember standing there oh. looking and saying, there's no way this woman's going to make it. Like, it's just too complicated. She's not going to make it. Wow. And so he, you know, closed her up. She went to um, the post-op, and we went and did his rounds. Came back the next day and rounded on her. This woman was sitting on the side of her bed, and her children were around her. And I'm like, is this the Wait same a minute, woman? What just happened? Yeah, is this the same woman that we operated on yesterday? And, and at that point, I just uh, became just marveled by yeah. the human body medicine, yeah. what happens. And, and so I said, I want to do medicine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was a little bit behind because I was supposed <laughs> to be going to grad school and, and right. Right. so in a summer wow. that was in January of my junior year. In a summer, I had to take all the courses to get me ready for pre med. Are you serious? Yes. So oh my went, goodness. Went to summer school the whole summer so that I could take the test. Wow. To, so that I could apply to medical yeah, school yeah. the following year. Yeah. So. I was say I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna go they, ahead and they do it. They can't tell me anything, but no, right, right. right? So, I've heard that before. Yeah, so <laughs> I did it. I did took the the MCAT. I did fairly well. Yeah. I'm still missing one one yeah. course of physics. I took it only having one right. semester of physics. I was still needing wow. one semester of physics. Did did good, and um, I thought to myself, you must be crazy. Nobody's gonna. Ex- nobody's gonna do. <laughs> All three medical schools I applied to, I got in. I was look at look at God. I was like, okay, wow. And then um, was really set on going to one of the schools. Yeah. And I was sitting at home, and one of the schools called me. I went to University of South Carolina School of yeah. Medicine, and they called me and they said, Erica, have you made a decision about where you want to go to medical school? And I said, Well, I think I'm going to go to the other medical school in the state. Yeah. It was only two in the state at that time. Right. And they said, Did you know we were offering you a full tuition scholarship? Uh. Oh, did, 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 I said, oh, well, I'm coming to your medical school. <laughs> I'm coming to your, <laughs> coming medical, to your school. medical school. That's so, that. That's that. Oh, that's that favor. God was like, you yes, know what? Let's just let's just walk it. on through the door. Come all on, over let's just it. Go on. All over it. I can't even explain it. I don't even know why they offered me a scholarship, and I didn't ask. I just said thank you very much. Didn't because, apply. Didn't, didn't even apply. nothing. It was. I don't even know. It was, I, I, I guess it was based on merit. I don't know, but wow, I took it and I went for mm. free. And, oh um, oh, that's powerful. And so in my, mm. um, so my last couple of years in medical school, that's where you just determine, decide what kind of doctor you want yes. to be. And so every rotation, I think, except peds, I said, I want to do this. I want to do surgery. <laughs> I want to do internal medicine. I love it. I want to do OBGYN. <laughs> I want to do all of it. And then I, I remember vividly talking to my mom and telling her that. And she said, Call me back when you figure out what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, call me back when you figure it out. <laughs> and so I chose family medicine for a couple of reasons. Yeah. It was because I could do whatever I wanted. Oh, that's um, good. And so whatever yeah. was of interest to me, and my interests yeah. have changed over time. Right. I could do that. That yeah. discipline allowed me to do that. And then I was really headed towards surgery. I was, because really? it was that surgery story, remember, was what led me to medicine. That really sparked you. Yep. Yeah. And the night before I did a presentation um, to an internal medicine group as a medical student, yeah. I found out I was pregnant with my first son. Wow. And so then I had to sit in the in the call room like, that night and say, okay, Erica, what is it that you really want to do? Yeah, you got to gotta yeah. make, it, make it quick. Now. And I said, you know, if I'm going to be a good mommy, I can't, you know, mm. I don't I don't think I could do that being a surgeon. Yeah. So I decided to do family That's medicine. That's good, yeah. So I don't, you know, I, I'm just not one of these people who said I woke up and said I want to do this. It really has been a path. Right. And it really has yeah. been a path that has been led by God. I mean, yeah. sometimes I look back, I don't even understand how I've gotten yeah. here. yeah. Um, yeah. And it's not for me to understand, I it's guess. Not. But it's amazing. It, 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 oh my gosh, your story, your story is amazing. The representation is amazing. You know, I told you we have so many young girls and women, you know, who who are our evolved girls mm-hmm. who are like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. So I think it's um, so important to have that representation, mm-hmm. right? Of not just a brown woman, but a woman, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If, if you have that aspiration to be a doctor listen she is right in front it's real it's achievable it's obtainable yes, it is, right it is, it but is. i know that this had to, this process this journey was not easy no it wasn't easy yeah. um 
You know, there were times I had to study when my friends were having fun. <laughs> Come on. <Uh-oh. laughs> so that's Uh-oh. why I have lots of fun now because yes. I had to study yeah, with my I friends. Had to study. I, couldn't, I couldn't party. I couldn't go to the movies. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't do all that stuff because I had to study. It was worth it, yeah. though. And it was, yeah. I didn't, you know, you got to think from undergrad through medical school, yeah. I didn't work either wow so yeah. you know i didn't yeah. always have a lot of resources yeah i had yeah. family that very uh, yeah. you know couldn't imagine having a more supportive family yes and friends yes and so there was some times i i didn't get to buy those shoes i wanted come on and yeah. i didn't get to go don't get didn't go on those trips that Y'all i wanted that. to go gotta make a um, sacrifice gotta make a sacrifice yeah um but in the end it was worth it yeah um we all have challenges that's right we all have disappointments that's right I'll tell you, when I went to medical school, my first semester, um, I was, before I went, I was afraid of dead people. I'm just going to put this just, out here. Like, I'll just, no, just I didn't like, I couldn't like go to like funeral homes and look Nothing. at dead people. I was, and so the oh, whole wow. summer, oh my, goodness. my first semester of medical school, I have to do anatomy, which we use cadavers. Woo. So that whole summer... I was like, how am I going to do this? Because I'm afraid of dead bodies. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And I didn't do well in anatomy. Yeah. And so when I finished that semester, again, I had to sit and say, is this really what you want to do? <laughs> right. Yeah. And yeah, so I even yeah. remember going out and looking at, like, teaching jobs on the internet. Because I said, let me look at something else. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> Maybe medicine isn't for me, but I'm glad I persevered because yeah, it has been yeah. a really rewarding career. career yeah. Really. That's amazing. Yep. That's amazing. You know, there are so many, like I said, young girls that, that are, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. What is your advice to some young woman that is watching that wants to become a doctor? Okay. And this is really for... Anyone. Anybody, yes. You must be a lifelong learner. That's, That's good. it. That's um, good. Nothing That's good. stays the same. Right. You must have the drive and initiative to, to teach yourself because there's mm-hmm. not always going to be somebody available to teach you. Right. You've got to teach yourself. That's You've good. got to have a desire to want to know, mm. to want to learn, to want to yes. grow and to become better. And so yeah. it's all about your drive, your perseverance, yes. and, your, and your own initiative yeah. to be the best version of yourself. Come on. And you can be whatever you want to be. That's you can good. be a, a doctor, lawyer, astronaut. Yeah. You can be a teacher, whatever. Whatever. But you must have that drive yeah. to do that. So, yeah. you know, every, everything, every opportunity, take advantage of it. Yes. Any sign-up sheet. Sign, yes. that, that was one thing about me. If it was a sign up sheet, sometimes I was, was on that's it. probably how I got the scholarship because <laughs> I probably signed up for something I didn't was even know. It. it didn't even know wow. it. Wow. But you must just seize yeah. all opportunities. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all heard her say she's located in Spartanburg. Spartanburg. So if you need a family doctor. Well, not me. Tip, tip. Okay, come on. Family, <laughs> family medicine. So I have. So in, bring me together. Come on, so bring in that my, again. So they can visit you. Well, in my role now. Yes. So I'm an executive now. Oh, we in my upgrade, organization. Upgrade, upgrade. Yes. <laughs> Elevated. Yes, do it, Jesus. So it's the bigger. So oh, yeah. unfortunately, I am not as di- I'm not involved yes. in direct patient care anymore. That just recently happened. That just recently. Oh, happened. okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Y'all- Yes. So my job now is more about um, creating strategy yeah. around creating yes. um, opportunities for yes. the management of, of our patients. Wow. But I'm not in direct patient care. Yes. So you can't see me necessarily. That's all right. But um, but yeah, that's. I love now. that though. I love that. I yeah. love that. You know, I I so thank you for your story, for your testimony. Thank you for your perseverance. Thank right. You. Thank you for um. Your yes and trusting the process of your journey, mm-hmm. right? Because it that was not easy, um, but it's such an inspiration, and, and I know it's encouraging, right, and empowering mm-hmm. to all of you. I I, I want to park the car right here for one second as we're getting ready to to close. Um, when you said to be the best version of yourself, mm-hmm. I think that's so important um, for all of us as kingdom women. Mm-hmm young and old, 
to to strive to just be the best version of you not the best version of your sister mm -hmm. or who you see on facebook as you're scrolling mm -hmm. like to just be the best version of who you are and that's where i was trying to get people to do to shine shine sprinkle sprinkle mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. be the light and be the salt mm -hmm. so if that's you because i will always extend salvation right mm -hmm. we don't have some fun but I will always extend <laughs> salvation, right? <laughs> I will. Listen, because to be the best version of you requires you to know Jesus. That's right. That's requires right. you to accept Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So if you um, do not know Jesus, if you do not know, you know, our Savior and, and our Savior and our Lord, listen, Jesus Christ, who got up on the cross, mm -hmm. hung, bled, died, and arose, and got with all power in his hands so you could walk out salvation, so mm -hmm. you could have eternal life, so right. you could walk in forgiveness, so you could have the comforter and the Prince mm -hmm. of Peace, right? Mm -hmm. To light, to lead you and guide you and direct you. Listen, he will help you be the best version That's of right. yourself. All you gotta do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart it is just as simple as that ask God to come into your heart today right ask him to lead you on today mm -hmm. ask him for forgiveness and salvation on today nothing you have done can separate you from the love of God mm -hmm. it's not that bad I'm telling you and literally just say God I give my life I give my heart to you amen, amen. see it's just that amen. It's just that simple literally so we want to thank you, Dr. Edgar Sarazita. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for, thank you for watching. Listen, yes. isn't she amazing, y'all? Oh, excited. You can be a doctor, too. Continue to watch Evolve with Shana Marie. Don't forget to be the light and the salt. Shine, shine, sprinkle, sprinkle. You're watching Shana Marie on Dominion TV. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's Shana Marie with the Evolve Talk Show. Listen, our Evolve Girl merch is here. You can now rock your faith and the declaration that you are continuing to embrace evolving into all God has purposed you to become that beautiful woman of God. So listen, go to EvolveTalkShow.com, right here at the bottom of the screen, and go order your sweatshirts, your t-shirts, your caps. Y'all, we're going to rock it out for God the dope way, the fly way. Hey y'all, it's Shauna Marie with the Evolve Talk Show. Listen, I just want to introduce to y'all my new book, 21 Days to Bigger. I'm helping women think, expect, and achieve bigger. Listen, we're taking leaps of faith, putting our faith over fear, and we are finding our next level of purpose and closing the gap from where you are to where you have dreamed of being. Let me be your purpose pusher this season. Make sure that you grab the copy Listen, at I am Shauna Marie. Dot com. I'm ready to see you walk into your Ephesians 320 season where God is going to do exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or think.